Today, we're doing mythologies. So I don't have anything interesting to share in the opening clips of this, but today we are going to do the postcard theme for my patrons, which means that whatever I do today will be a limited postcard only available for September uh, patrons over at Patreon. I'm gonna stop saying Patreon. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun creating a cool illustration and I already have an idea of what I wanna do. So the theme that got chosen by my Patreon was, well, Patreons, was Gaelic mythology. And I was looking through different mythology monsters, specifically yesterday, and I was between two different creatures. It was either the uh, questing beast, because it looked interesting, or a selkie, because I have a really soft spot for uh, mermaids and anything sea creature and as you guys know for mermaid <laughs> we have all this sketchbook is pretty much mermaids and i'm pretty sure we have a selkie in here there you go there is a selkie uh but there's more like a mermaid selkie and selkies are a little bit different uh, because they are said to shed their skin in a way so they transform between the two they don't have a uh, woman upper body and a sealed low body they they have the fur and like a coat of a seal and they can put that on and whatever. I can talk about more about the mythology when we start sketching, but right now I think I need to start sketching because uh, this is this blind page is annoying. Yesterday I actually um, looked up, by the way, it's a friend nerd's planner from last year. I haven't finished using it. <laughs> I actually looked up, I'm just gonna call the things I need to do. I actually, when I was studying, well, look, not studying, looking up the um, Selkie mythology, I came up with this um, sort of composition and I want to experiment more with that and that's why I have my big sketchbook here to just keep sketching and see what we can do with uh, that whole composition. So maybe I, I will just sketch some more of the composition that I was planning about, plan, well, thinking about and then uh, possibly I will go on my iPad and find some references for selkies and the background. But what I really want to do, um, I think most of this video is not going to be the planning, it's actually going to be the creation of it because I think it's going to take a while. I think it's a more detailed illustration than I usually do, but it's just the idea that I have, I think it's going to be really cool. So we're going to have like a water level thing. So either will be straight or will be curved like that. But I think the reason that Selkie mythology, or the, the, the legend of the Selkies kind of exists is because when um, seals kind of bob their head above the water, like this is a seal. Of course I have to illustrate it. Right. They can look like humans because it's just their head bobbing up and down and that's kind of the reason for it and i think that's the reason for any like mer creatures like when they bob their hot head above the water it looks like a creature or a human i guess so what i wanted to do was to have something like a human looking character kind of bobbing their head above the water but I want it to be a bit more eh, creature-like than maybe just a pretty human. But I want her to be like half submerged. Well, mostly submerged. <laughs> and then the whole thing with the coat. So, Selkies... Wait, you know what? I'm gonna find an actual quote from the mythology because I don't actually quite know what I'm talking about. Selkie folk or seal folk are mytholo mythological beings capable of whatever that is, changing from seal to human form by shedding their skin. They're found in folk tales and mythology originating from the Northern Isles of Scotland. Uh, but they also kind of exist in Irish mythology. Anyway, it's Gaelic, so it's fine. The folk tales frequently revolve around female selkies being coerced into relationships with humans by someone stealing and hiding their seal skin, thus exhibiting the tail motive of the swan maiden type. So the whole thing about transforming but not being able to tra transform back or stay in one shape. Anyway, I love that it's more of a shape-shifting thing and that's what I'm going to base my illustration up. And the whole thing with um, 
shedding their skin or like skin changer is kind of a thing that I really like. So I want her to have a big coat. Like it's half going off. Like you know when 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 pretty girls have like their big fluffy pretty girls <laughs> fashion people have their big fluffy coat and it's kind of like hanging down and they have their hand kind of lightly holding it so it's like half down their shoulders that's what i want at least that's what i was imagining and then their hair flowing down but then from this point it's a seal also i have not done this correctly but yeah from this point on after the hair goes, goes down like that. It's a seal. So, we will have the seal feet here. But this is pretty much what I had in, I, what, what I had in mind yesterday. And I was like, I want to do this so badly. Big black eyes, big black hair. I'm gonna have it flowing from like this way. Because that's what water hair does when it comes above water. It's like a typical mermaid illustration, like they're they're half like a little bit submerged, like just peeking up. But I think I just I just love that idea. So big, 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 big eyes. But I still want her to look like a humanoid. Oh, you're not seeing half of that. I need to find a reference of that, that post that I, I, I wanted to do. It's not supposed to be unnerving or scary for me. It's mostly just supposed to be interesting like a magical thing and also i have to cover that part i love shape shifting shape shifting is probably my favorite like idea well favorite like power magic power <laughs> if i had the power to choose a superhero thing i would be a shapeshifter i just i just love the idea of doing that so I was thinking, I was thinking about this um, big fur coat when like, yeah, like this sort of fur coat, definitely fluffy, um, but when you kind of carry it on your elbows, God, I know what I'm looking for, but we'll see if I can find it. I can't find the reference for it, but pretty much if you were wearing it here, let's just do this like this, and then your arm's still holding it, like you're taking it off, half way of taking it off pretty much. So your arms will still be in it. I'm gonna give her claws because of course I will. And everything here is pretty much the shoulders are all the way down here. I just have to imagine it because I can't find the reference that I'm looking for. But it's like half off and then it cinches back in here. Oh, I'm so excited to draw this on the actual paper. I'm trying to plan this more than I usually would. But I also know that part of my process is honestly just to go for it. Um, but we have to figure out how much of the illustration is water. Something like that. I think maybe I just need to take this to a bigger piece of paper and just start sketching with the colored pencil like I always do. Um, because it's easier for me than to do this. We can look at references. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's what I mean with like the really cool seaweed on the um, why you can't <laughs> drive your boat i'm looking for mostly poses now because i need more silky or well, more seals around her oh yes that's what i want to 
trying my hardest not to search for sake because I, I get inspired too much sometimes and I don't want to copy something. I've, I know that I've, I've seen a few illustrations similar of like silkies and I have that in my brain and that's probably never gonna leave me and you're always gonna see it but I don't want to see it again because it might be different from what I remember you know. We see them actually around here as well in Newcastle. They sometimes they go on the the muddy shores and just hang out. <laughs> All right I think I will probably get to sketching them and I'll see you with a new piece of paper. All right I got the piece of paper. Um, this is about a five size. I don't like doing illustrations too big, so I'm gonna do it on this size. <laughs> Maybe we could make it bigger, but I, I like, I like keeping it small. I just, I like working smaller than bigger. Let's make. Let me just look at the separation. I want her head to be here, though. So the important part is really her body, but. I like the center compositions of things, so we're gonna... That's the center-ish. I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch all of this, and then I will talk you this later. It's easy for me to, when I... Um, when, I when I'm just focusing or whatever I need to focus on, instead of trying to talk. So right now I am just going to do this and then I'll chat with you guys when I come and I finish with it. Alright, I finished sketching. It took me a good half an hour to do this um, just quietly without intense. But I am very excited about just the illustration. I think you can. I had to widen it out because her tail got too long, um, but it didn't really matter because I had a pretty wide piece of paper anyway, so it kind of saved me. And I'm going to start doing the liner, and I'm just. I'm excited to start coloring this at some point. <laughs> And I'm gonna do it with my trusty 8B pencil. Um, this is water-based varnish, blah, 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 made in Germany, uh, Faber-Castell 9000 Castell, something. It's really good. I don't know if it'll focus. Oh, it will. Cool, there you go. That's the one I use for line art. I recommend it for everything because <laughs> I love it. I don't remember how I discovered it, but when I did, I'll turn it back. The paper that I'm using is, 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 is this one, it's Saunders Waterford Classic Watercolor Paper and there should be all the information you need right there. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the description box, but usually I do not remember, so do not think that I will. <laughs> but yeah, I'll zoom in on her face and we'll start line arting. My favorite part of the process is this. And I really like her face. I made it a little more, a little, a little, a little, a little bit more um, uh, grown up than my sketch. And hopefully, I can keep everything <laughs> as I wanted to. I actually think one of her eyes is bigger than the other. Oops. I'm focusing so hard now that you guys have no idea. This pencil is also going so smoothly on the paper that I'm almost just so scared to just make mistakes. I'm honestly focusing so hard. I don't know if I should even talk at this point. 
I guess it just shows that I really care about what how this turns out. <laughs> neck I was thinking I, I might I think I want to do for um, for the fur because her fur coat um, well, seal coat I want it to be fluffy around where she's wearing it because I don't know um, you know that effect that Studio Ghibli do with when things transform they kind of ripple up like this this effect so I kind of want everything that's like her coat to be fluffy, but then her tail to be smooth, so it goes from fluffy to smooth. Because, like, she's transforming. She isn't just like a normal seal anymore. So I think I might want to do that. Going to remember to scan this in because I'm, I'm loving the line art so far, and if I ruin the line art, then I need to have a scan of it. <laughs> Oh, I like that a lot. Should start doing more big illustrations. And now I'm almost sad that this is going to be a limited print for only patrons. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I have like, I, I, I really work hard for the, the, the print and then I realize that I can't print it more than once. At the same time, that's fine. That's what I... I planned and it makes it a bigger incentive to possibly get the print with Patreon. That's how much I'm gonna do on the hair for now. I might do more later, but you never really know until you finish everything else. Okay. The seaweed isn't exactly realistic. Oh, you can't see it. But I can't really <laughs> get closer enough to the camera. Um, it does the job. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> no, seriously, it's very fun. Um, I'm just very quiet because I'm because I'm having fun and I'm just like really trying to have it turn out as I, I want it to so I'm just focusing really hard on my lines and making sure the thing things make sense even with with my very sketchy style I wouldn't you, you would see this and be like this is not sketchy but um, there is a way to make things cleaner. I think I just have been wanting to draw a selfie illustration for a while. And now I'm finally doing it. I'm finding it extremely hard to stay in frame. <laughs> the art is just so big and I want to be like zoomed in for like details because it looks better. But then like the legs are in the way so I can't really move my my drawing the paper whichever way i want so mm, i might add more seaweed um after i put in more color because sometimes the um, line art can look really 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 busy but in reality when you put colors then you realize that it's not actually that busy so you can add more if you need to but I can't take away so it's better to just add it in isn't it okay um, we have more here and yeah I'm gonna leave the sky clear like I have sketched some lines there but I'm gonna leave it for now oh. <laughs> I like it 
okay, let, I'll zoom out so you can see the full thing. That is the whole thing. It's pretty big actually now. Um, I kind of just went crazy, didn't I? With all the... <laughs> With all the lines. I think I do want to um, darken up some of the lines around her because she's the main focus. And I also might have smudged some of the pencil here and there, but I think it will turn out lovely. So I don't actually have any um, masking fluid. I would have actually want that for her but I don't and I don't really have anything else so I'm just gonna put masking tape around and start painting. <laughs> right. I'm going to do a wash around her. I'm not gonna touch her yet. I'm gonna just give everything else a wash. Even the seals. They don't have to be the same um, value as her. Like I'd, I'd rather they not be so do this. It's already some sort of grey on <laughs> my brush. Usually, as usual, I am not very good at planning my pieces. But if you've been there before, you know that. Either it's that or it's just the pencil smudging. Maybe the paper isn't suited for this pencil. Ish, it works for me. This color. I think it's fail blue. Oh, I touched. like adding like yellow to this just like to give that green a bit more of a punch any anything by the seaweed maybe I'm kind of just going at it <laughs> as you can probably tell Everything down uh, further down here is gonna be darker anyway, but we need to start somewhere. Her hair isn't as important as um, anything else because it's so dark. I can kind of, I can, I can, I can work with it no matter what's what I've done around it. <laughs> I like that a lot. I am going to, I think, add, I want to get this part more vibrant and I don't have that in this palette. I'll see if I have it in my other palette here, but it's still not going to punch the light um, as I want it to. But. That is more just because watercolor is watercolor. And then I think I'm okay. I'm gonna leave the wash of that here because I am going to add a lot more darker s stuff around. But the wash itself worked pretty well. Um, it's all about just getting it a bit wet. I don't know what to do with the with everything above ground. I think I'll just keep it very pale. I have this other one here. But I, I think I want to... Let's just start with... I want something. I'm gonna add that turquoise that usually they say go grey, but I'm gonna add it here. Because it's nice and fainted. I'm going to keep a lot of her dark, so. All right, I'm just going to, oh wait, I have a hair dryer now. Oh my God, I forgot. Okay, I'm going to get the hair dryer and I'm going to dry this <laughs> so I can continue working. This is a new discovery, guys. Still 
buckly. Hopefully that goes down, but it's dry. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll just continue. Hopefully it's fine. <laughs> like, like I already know that people are gonna be like, that's not how you do it. I did use it on cold setting though, so please don't come at me. Uh, but yeah, let's find a brush to use. And the first color I'm gonna go for is like the nice green. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one because I, I like it. I do want to keep most of the the sea like a pale blue, and then I'll add the green and the darker things to the seaweed. I think that makes sense in my brain, so I'll do that. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's working so I'm doing it but like I don't actually know what I'm doing I'm very sloppy with watercolor as well um I think I'll add a darker gradient coming from them down here and up I'll just leave like I know I want to keep most of that Okay, and I'm going to have I just added the, the lighter wash so that I can make it wet enough to do sort of a gradient. No, I think we need to add just a big wash of greenish blue at the bottom here so I'll take my, take my big brush again and mix together some hey it's turning out all right <laughs> I'm not gonna put too much um, on the fishes, I think fishies, I think they are all right as they they are right now. Somehow, not putting value on things help make it make them seem like they're less important. <laughs> oh, and we can add little spots. I'm gonna add darker spots to the, the, the body as well, but starting easy. I wanna add more to them as well, but I can't because everything's wet. Um, I think I am going to give some of her just a greenish hue, especially like down here because it's so... I'm gonna keep a lot of this just pale, but I need to add that green to things that are sh like in the background a little bit. So here, but just by keeping it most of her white, that will just make her stand out anyway on the water. Should I give her human skin? That's the big question. Give it like a grayish. I don't want to give her too much of a skin tone though. And I'm going to add a green hue to everything that is here. Everything that's here, and then I'll add the really the really green, green blue to every all well, the hair that's on the water. I think I might add some more to the skin as well because it needs to be separated from the white fur.
need the water to be prominent. I'm just adding this where I feel like I need to hide my mistakes, I guess. We're almost done, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry just for a second and then I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna add um, the light blue where I wanted to. Turquoise blue. I'm going to put some um, white pen in here and I'm going to add this here to the water. See if I can make it look like water or if I completely fail. <laughs> I just want everything above to be kind of dull. Yeah, and everything else kind of light. Okay, I'm gonna add one more kind of just some spots to the seal part of her. I'm just adding the some darker spots to punch punch things up a bit. But it is working as I want it to, so we are have succeeded very much. It's kind of like eerie, which is exactly what I wanted. Also, this this is weird, <laughs> but I'm not. I don't think I should add. Ugh, I say that, and I'm like preparing to add more stuff and. <laughs> Now, if I don't stop soon, I am going to do something that I will regret. I just keep wanting to push everything. But it's harder to do that like this. It would be easier if it was all digital. <laughs> Okay, I have to stop. I know I'm gonna keep tweaking this forever, but I think we're good for now. If I was gonna tweak anything, I will do it digitally. But yes, um, I think I am going to... Oh wait, uh, was I gonna use color pencil? I don't think I will actually. I feel like that would just throw it off, maybe? I'm very happy with it right now. So I think maybe I will uh, tear off the tape and we'll see what happens after that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this bigger piece of mine. I actually really like it, but it's also very messy and I see all the imperfections, but I love it. I like, it's it's done. I did it, kind of, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Um, if you want this as a limited print or postcard print, it's called, uh, please go over to my Patreon and uh, there should be a few more spots left for this month if you want this particular one. I have clearly touched that with my very dirty hands. Uh, but yeah, if you want this as a print, this limited, I will never print it as a print again, just so you know. And that's about everything I need to say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much to my Patreons who support me every month and lets me do whatever I want to do every day and every week. And it's kind of crazy. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, yeah, thank you for supporting me through thick and thin pretty much. <laughs> I love you. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.